Hi everyone, it's Graham here with another review for you and um, I've got this um, Blagden uh, pond pump. Um, it's, uh, we're gonna, we, we, we've, we've got a small pond, this is only for small ponds because uh, it's not got a big flow rate or anything like that so we've got a little small garden pond and uh, I'm going to put it in there because um, at the moment we're getting a lot of uh, algae and um, weed, blanket weed growing and uh, if you get a bit of movement in the water it, hopefully uh, it's going to get rid of that so I'm going to set it all up. We'll have a look what's in the box first. So here we are then, I've opened the box and um, we've got the pump there as you can see. Now inside there there's a little um, filter uh, which you can take out and clean periodically. Um, on the bottom it's got uh, suction pads uh, so I recommend you find a, a flat surface for that to put it in. It, it, it is a submersible pump by the way so you put it under the water. Um, so if you find a flat surface to put that on and uh, then it will it will be nice and firmly and it's got to be level as well if you want to put a fountain on it otherwise the fountain will be a bit lopsided uh, so yeah that's the um, that's the pump itself we've got 10 meters of cable there which is uh, you know that should be ample depending on where your pond is obviously um, so you've got 10 meters of cable and then you've got all the sort of attachments for the fountains um, which different sorts of fountains which you can have. So if we look at the box, it gives you an idea of some of the fountains there. Uh, you can have a super daisy or a daisy, and it shows you what the sort of fountain it does, or that water bell there, I don't know whether you can see that, that's a sort of uh, a bell shaped uh, thing with water coming out. They're all the sort of little attachments. That there is the um, the foam that I told you about that you can uh, that you put in the filter so that it, um, it, that, it that will collect all the sort of uh, the debris and stuff what the the, the fil what the uh, pump collects and it collects it inside there so you have to wash that filter every now and again just to keep it uh, operating nicely yeah so that's it I'm going to set it up now and uh, We'll have a look at it. If you're interested in buying one of these, by the way, I've put a link in the description. Uh, I got it from Amazon, um, so uh, I'll put a link on there, and you can have a look at that um, and see uh, see if you if you fancy it or not. So yeah, that's it. Um, as I say, it's only for small small ponds. Um, I think it actually tells you somewhere what size what size pond it'll keep but we've, we've only got a small one anyway so uh, so we, we, we've got this one it wasn't uh, overly expensive I can't quite uh, remember how much how much it was um, but uh, it wasn't overly I think it was 30 30 pounds something but um, if you look at the link below you you'll see you'll see how much that costs that's the technical data there for anybody who's interested so it's 230 volt 58 said 10 watts um, 700 liters per hour that's 154 gallons per hour is a maximum flow uh, maximum pumping height is 1.25 meters or 4 foot 1 inch and there's a 10 meter key cable as I said so yeah you do you put it under the water obviously and you put your, your attachments on there and uh, hey presto uh, you'll get a nice fountain or you can make a sort of waterfall from it as well if you if you attach um, if you attach pipe to the to the um, to the pump itself uh, and then then run the pipe to a sort of waterfall you can you can have a little waterfall as well so I'm going to set it up in the pond now and uh, I'll show you um, how it looks when it's set up so there we are then I've set it up with that uh, one of the fountain options anyway I don't know whether you can see that very clearly but yeah that's um, that's doing a fountain of about what three foot high something like that uh, so but other fountain options are available uh, with the fitments that you can put on so uh, yeah that's pretty good that is really
and as I say you can also fit it with a pipe and uh, fit up a waterfall or whatever so yeah I'm pretty pleased with that that will uh, hopefully that will I'm, I'm going to do the waterfall option I think I'm going to try that and get a, the pump the, the water pumping from one side of the um, pond to the other and uh, Hopefully that will get a nice bit of movement going in the water and a little waterfall coming down at the other end and uh, that should shift some of this um, this algae I've been getting and weed, blanket weed and things. So there we are then, That's the, uh, it's called the Blagden, um, it's a Blagden one, there's a link in the description below the video so if you want to have a look at that you can. Uh, so yeah, I'm finding that pretty good. OK, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers for now.